Today's video, I'm going to show you the simplest defense in Madden 24 that you can use to get stops. If you really only learn this one defensive concept, it is going to help you play defense 10 times better. Now, the cool part about this is this is really out of almost any formation in the game. I like this concept the most out of formations like Dollar, Dime 146, Dime 236 Will, um, even Nickel 33 Normal you can run this concept out of. And essentially what you want to do is if you're in regs, I would recommend running the bills with this. If you're in Mutt, just use Deep Out Zone Knockout on both of your outs side corners and what you see here is we're going to put deep out zone KO over here on the left and we're going to put deep out zone KO over here on the right then what we're going to do is we're going to come out in auto alignment base and then we want to make sure that our zone coverage is going to be set to default this is going to allow these outside quarter zones to be able to play more underneath and stop things like corner routes so we're going to come out in this cover four drop contain and all we're going to do is we're going to press our defense now a couple key tips for making this defense better what you want to do is you want to pinch your defensive line and crash your defensive line inside because they're that's going to take the contains off of the field and it's going to cause some different types of disengage pressure up the middle and in this game if you roll out of the pocket a lot of times what can happen is you'll get an inaccurate pass the last thing that we really need to do in terms of making this defense easy to set up is just blitz our user and what we want to do is we just want to kind of get down here as you can see we get this little green bar over the top of our head this is going to help significantly with defending a lot of what people are going to want to do so as you'll see here i'm just going to run a simple play like verticals we're just going to kind of use her this little hook area of the field and what you'll see is if i try to throw this crosser those deep out zone knockouts are either going to knock the ball out or they're going to react so well in zone coverage that they're actually able to intercept this now, we're showing this out of dollar. If you don't get access to my entire dollar defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. We actually just updated it, completely revamped the entire defense, and I guarantee it's going to make you a better defensive player. We have some really advanced stuff in there, as well as some stuff that you could just easily pick up and play if you're a beginner. So if you want to get better at Madden, join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my ebooks, as well as all of our updates and any new stuff that we drop over there. We drop stuff pretty much every single week. Okay, so um, another thing that we can do to make this defense more effective, there's really two other things. So if we take a look at this in instant replay, one of the biggest challenges this year, for whatever reason, is these yellow zone defenders. Um, as you can see here, he actually plays this tight end uh, wheel really, really well. But I want to show you, if I come out here and I don't do um, some of the adjustments that I did, I want to show you what this is going to look like. So again, if we did something like this, what you're going to notice is this hook curl defender really doesn't defend that tight end very, very well at all. And he also doesn't defend the running back underneath. This is because you need to be shading your yellow zones. The way that you shade your coverage in Madden is you want to hit the triangle or Y button, you, and then you can flick your right joystick to shade um, either over top, inside, underneath, or outside. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to shade outside, but we're also going to shade underneath. What this is going to do is it's going to turn those curl flats into hard flats, which is a big advantage because they're actually going to stop flat routes. The other thing that this is going to do is it's going to make this hook curl defender really play nice underneath, and we're going to be able to stop a lot of these underneath style, like little hitches, um, underneath vertical wheels, running back table route or running back routes underneath. All of that kind of stuff is going to get stopped by this. Uh, we'll show this to you again. I'll actually get back into the verticals play. And what you'll see here is he's able to kind of stop that tight end route, but he's also able to come back underneath. And we'll show that in this next progression, how this is going to do a really good job at being able to take away the running back underneath. So you'll see right here, yeah, he takes that away, but they might say, okay, I'm going to check down on my running back route. Actually, I'm sorry. I forgot to put him on an in route because I'm in uh, the Jets playbook. But basically what you're going to see here is if I put this running back on that little underneath uh, underneath in route, this yellow zone will actually do a really, really, really good job. And you'll see right here, he kind of comes underneath and takes that away and sometimes can even intercept that route. So you're able to stop crossing routes. You're able to stop some of these like little seam wheels or little underneath wheel routes. Your user is able to have some freedom in the middle of the field. And then the other thing that you're able actually to do with this is if they run a streak corner flat combination over here to the right, you're going to see that these deep out zone knockouts are also going to do a really good job of playing that. Now, the player just dumbed out, but that would be either be a KO or an interception. Now, another thing that you can do, and really the last tip that I have for you to make this defense as good as you possibly can, is to go ahead and actually manually click onto your safeties and just drag them down. By dragging them down, what that's going to do is it's going to really help against things like Y curl, 
any kind of seam streaks in the middle of the field, this is going to do a significantly better job at defending um, any kind of any kind of stuff like that that you might face. Now, if you wanted to keep it a little bit more simple for yourself, what you could do is you could only drag down the guy that's the actual seam seam streak threat. I personally still think there's a massive advantage to dragging both of these quarters down. And this little defense right here is just, it's super hard to beat consistently. Yes, you can beat it some here and there, but by and large, this is one of the best uh, coverage defenses in the game. Pretty much anybody can play it. And literally the only adjustments you need to make are to press. If you want to pinch your D-line crash down to get better pressure, and then you're just going to shade outside and underneath so that your yellow zone will actually play underneath. And then all you have to do from a user perspective is basically you're just kind of working and cutting any kind of crosser and as you can see, the KOs are going to help you on the sidelines. The cover four defense is super effective to be able to just get simple stops in Madden. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to learn how to become a better Madden player, make sure you join the Patreon. It's where you get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.